just enough for one full canner. Everybody headed out to pasture. You gonna go with them, boys? You gonna go with them? Careful, watch the barbed wire. Oh no, he's got he's gonna get caught. I told him to go out to pasture. I was sending him back to their barn, so they're going out to pasture. Mm-hmm. That's where they're all going. Yeah. Go, go, go. Put you back in your barn. Don't put that dirty thing in the sink. I am washing tomatoes. making their way slowly back but they were they were so far I could barely see them um, when I was in the kitchen I'm really surprised their way out there but I'm happy that's what I want to see that's what we want to see now we've cut up some tomatoes right sliced them up now we're putting them in this chopper <laughs> Takes a little bit of force sometimes. Watch fingers, watch fingers. There it goes. It's down. And then we're gonna we're gonna put them in the pot over here. And then it's gonna so I did it. Okay, so I load them, then I put it down, then Elena pushes it down or smacks it down. Almost there! There we go! Chop it! Make sure you lift it up as high as you can. Okay? Now drop it. Let's get drop it. And Elena, if you lift it up higher and you no, that one's a, just a real juicier type and one. Elena, Elena so well, yeah, it's okay. I hear it. she can only reach so far though, Liam. That's the problem. She has a she has shorter arms, so you gotta understand that she can only go so far. Down as far as you can. There you go. Lift it. Some more. A little more, sweetheart. Now you <laughs> drop it. <laughs> She's not using all her arm. Lift it. So I just opened up one of our first garlics that we harvested. Actually, this might have been some later garlic. I don't even know which one's which, but um, we're gonna see how this works. Everything so far in this pot for salsa: the peppers, the onions, um, the tomatoes, the jalapeno peppers. Um, and now the garlic that's going in are all from this year's garden. So I'm pretty stoked about that. That's always been a goal of mine to be able to make my um, salsa almost entirely um, from the garden. Have you seen a garlic press like this before? It is really cool. Um, this part here flips up, this comes out, makes it really easy for cleaning, but also it really works. Whereas others that don't have this little Thing like this just don't work as well it's very hard to do one-handed hold on okay so I also cut the clove in half because it's really large all right you put it in here like this Let's see if I can get this ah really hard to do one-handed there we go got it or I should say left-handed because I'm right-handed and then just squeeze obviously just like any other but it works really well and you get like all of 
all of it. I'll show you what it looks like inside. Hold on one second. Okay, so I just scraped off the bottom and there's so little left in there. And I'm gonna throw the next one in and continue the process. The reason I say that I can make this salsa or picante um, as much as I can from my garden, things like um, cayenne pepper, I don't grow that. Um, I usually just use sauce, the sauce, hot sauce. Um, sugar, salt, and vinegar. Obviously, I don't have those from my garden either, but otherwise, oh, and the tomato paste. But otherwise, this, um, I got the tomatoes, the peppers, onions, jalapeno peppers, and the garlic cloves, all from the garden. <laughs> I, I really don't even know what's going on here. <laughs> Are you hanging out with your son? Yeah? Just like half on? Half off the swing? They just love the swing. If the kids ever decide they don't like it anymore, it'll, I'll keep it just for the goats, right? Come on, I opened it up. You can come out. Yes, yes, you can come out. Are you going to come out or you just want to talk? No? <laughs> he wants out. He just doesn't know how to get out. You want to pick him up and bring him out gently? Mm. What's pretty exciting to me is that it is July 11th. I already have tomatoes and I'm canning them already. It's pretty exciting. Usually, I'm not even getting ripe tomatoes until the very end of July. I always know this because my birthday is the end of July. And if I get a ripe tomato before my birthday, it's, I, I celebrate it. So, this is like a whole month sooner. And that's what we've been experiencing here. Things are just a little bit sooner. Not a lot, but just a little bit. And that, to me, is exciting. So this batch so far is making, let me count here, two, four, six, we're on our seventh pint. I'm not sure I'm going to have enough to do an eighth, but that's okay because I will probably keep that for myself to have as some fresh salsa here, but we'll see. Let's see what this one does. this one making so much noise sorry probably just keep this one put it in the fridge not actually can it because I'm gonna eat some right now in just a little bit wait for it to cool a little it's pretty hot so one of the things you do when you before you put your lids on is you wipe the edge of the jar and one of the ways I one of the things I'm doing when I'm wiping the edge of the jar is also checking for any cracks or blemishes on the lid. And I noticed that this one had some pretty deep ones um, that would make this, the seal not seal. So this one is now no longer going to be used for canning. I can use it for our other things, but definitely not for canning. Next up, we I like to rinse off the lid. It's just a, I don't know, it's just what you do. And then you're going to put your rings on. And you want to do it so it's finger tight. Usually I do this with two hands and then I just do it till it, you know, it's tight and that's it. And then you put them in the um, water bath or steam canner. Um, pints are in for 10 minutes. So I use the jar lifter to place them in my canner. 
This is a steam canner, just like I used for my pickles. I have just enough for one full canner. And then I'm gonna put the lid back on. All right, lid's on. Turn this back on. And then my goal is for this little, whoop, this little arrow to be in the dark green. And then once it's in there, that's when I'll start my time. So you don't start your time when it first goes in, you start it once it's boiling. And that's my little indicator that it's boiling inside. So they're all out of the canner. I've already heard as soon as I lifted the lid, they started popping already. So that's good. Um, these will stay here um, for 24 hours and then I will label them um, and then put them away in my pantry. Come on, boys. Oh, don't, don't chase them. Come on. Don't you eat my plants. Okay, no eating the plants. All right, so I had applied some pesticides to the um, pumpkins because we were getting squash bugs. And yes, I use I use it. I don't, no shame in my game. I want pumpkins. Um, so I got some pumpkins coming up here where I did do some replanting. Um, I got some here. I don't see too many others. There's one right there. And I told myself I'd remember what I planted where. There's some more coming up here. But, my typical fashion, I don't remember what I planted where. If I have these are the little pumpkins or the bigger pumpkins. I know I did a good combination of both. But I do remember putting all the little pumpkins down here. I am not seeing any of them, so it looks like I might be not getting little any of the little pumpkins. They seem to be the ones that are struggling. Oh, she's talking about this that I found. So. This part of the garden is just out of control. You're fine. It's out of control. The weeds grew like a half a foot in the last two days or more. It's crazy. Well, he's moved on to over there. I'm over here. And I'll show you here. This is what I've been working on. Just weeding, weeding, and more weeding. It's amazing how fast this crabgrass grows in these situations. We got a drought, heat, and then rain. And after that, more heat. And now it's growing a mile a minute. This pile of weeds at my feet are from here. This bed is 90% weeded. I'm sure that I'm gonna come back and pull out a few more here and a little bit over there. And maybe a few more over there. But I feel like, oh, I get it done. And then I'm like, oh wait, there's still more. And look, another pile of weeds. And then there's another one somewhere else too. Uh, Liam's bringing in the other one, but tomatoes are looking good. And we got some cucumbers too, which I'm actually seeing another one from here <laughs> that I didn't see. There it is. All the angles. Oh, and another one. Oh boy. Mm. Here we go. There's some pumpkins. Not many. But, oh, this just keeps growing up and up. So, we're trying, but literally this jungle is up to my waist. Our water <laughs> bottles in the garden. Totally, and I go get them, and she said, I can do it. I told her, I didn't think she could. She's like, Mommy, please. And now, she got the water bottle. She got it in, but she can't put it back because you got to lift it up and put it over the T-post. I appreciate that she wanted to try, but 
I knew she wouldn't better get if she could even get in, which I kind of figured might be possible. No, I knew she couldn't get I, it herself because no, you got to pull it. No, it. I, I. You're really close. Come on. I know you're really close. You got to pull it a little more. Uh, <laughs> Watch out. I kind of opened it and there. Lift it up and it's not really the most secure. The goat still can get in, but. Makes me feel a little better. Speaking of which, they're standing out here saying, um, feed me now, but I have to go inside. I'll be back. I'll be back. Hi. Yeah, they're yelling at me like, feed me now too. You have grass. You can eat it. You'll be fine. I don't even know what the feels like temperature out is or the real temperature. It's just, it's warm for doing lots of weeding. So I'm, I'm warm and got weeds and dirt and all sorts of stuff all over me and I already washed up my arms because I had to cool off and then I realized I didn't have my water bottle it's a tad too close for comfort to be out here I'm going inside All that flashing light is lightning all around us. So the girls are all hiding in their barn of their own choice. So I decided I'm going to see if the boys want to come out. Come on. You got to move, buddy. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Come on, boy. Come on. Let's get out for a little bit. That sound good? Yeah. Not really sure about it. Oh, Jet, we hear you. You see him? He's standing there. Here. Hey, Jet. He's a good boy. I left him out for a little bit. Let him just get used to being out. Oh, I'll put him back in. Oh, this hair of mine. I always, I never look at myself before I start doing filming, and then I'm like, oh, oops. So we'll let them. Uh, there. Let them out for a bit. And then I'll put them away and let the girls out. Hi, boys. You good? Yeah? Are you coming to say hi? Yeah, this stuff all keeps coming up as we walk. It must have been buried at some point. You know, the, uh, you know, it's over time. Sticks and dirt and stuff kind of. And as we walk, it's coming up. So I got to rake it all up and get rid of it. Yeah. Hey, boys. I'm supposed to be out here watching the bucks. I don't know where they ran off to. But I have these little guys hanging out on my feet. This one hanging out over here. Not far. And this one back behind me. It's okay. I scared her when I brought the camera over. She started honking at me. I didn't get that. I'm sorry. You go back to sleep. It's okay. Found him. Hmm? What you doing, Banks? Yeah? Yeah? 